Hi guys, welcome to the channel and to the energy update for my friends Cancer, Scorpio and Pisces. So let's take a look at your no contact situation, current energies for your person, Knight of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, Page of Wands, Five of Cups. Your person can be extremely regretful, guys, because of how things went between the two of you. They can regret their actions, their mistakes, because they can be aware of the fact that they called in the Axe Oracle card with its keywords breakup, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, and abandonment. What is bothering me a little bit is the girl with a snake oracle card because of the keyword empath and narcissist paradigm. So this person can be someone that can be so attached to the connection with you that for them it can also be some kind of obsession and they can struggle quite a lot to let go of the situation so they can think about the opportunity to extend a major apology to you knight of pentacles which is the slowest of the four knights so there is a time factor at play we also got the seven of pentacles in the mix but this person is going to try to test the temperature of the room in order to understand if it is possible to bring up the heat once again especially when it comes to the level of attraction you know that can be rekindled between the two of you because maybe they can think that the sexual side of the connection the sexual side of the alchemy that the two of you basically shared um, for quite some time can help them in the endeavor to be successful with you once again Divine Feminine, guys, we got the Oracle card. I think that this is for you because you will have to evaluate if there can be a positive growth and development when it comes to the opportunity to try again with this person. So let's see, guys, the Five of Cups. I missed the chance, basically. And this person can say also that they are sorry for what they did, you know, what justified the decision to part ways. Let's see. Queen of Swords, extremely clear, extremely vocal. So this person wants to talk with you. King of Swords. So the two of you, extremely smart. We can say that we have a couple, so... This person can even be aware of the fact that the conversation that they may have to share with you is not going to be necessarily an easy one. But they kind of want to demonstrate to you that they can be serious when it comes to the factors that can be in favor of the opportunity to try again. All right, but we also have certain factors that may not be exactly in favor of a green light and some of you will have to remember those experiences that can be related to the five of cups and the three of swords exactly on point even better than my english guys the axe oracle card so this person this person can think that some of you are already over the connection they are not they still want it they still want you so what's holding them back? King of Wands, Ten of Wands, the Sun and the Ten of Cups. They do not want to let go, guys, the Ten of Wands, but if they stay quiet, it's because they can think that you are not interested in the opportunity to try again with them. Some of you can say, well, they got it right because I do not even want to see them. I get it. I can understand it. For others of you, though, it can be true the opposite. So some of you can say, I would like to talk with this person because the connection for me was important. It can still be important, but we need adjustments and I want to understand if they are willing to make them together with me. 
So uh, this person can still see the connection with you as a major amplifier of their inner happiness, the Sun and the Ten of Cups. Unfortunately, we already got the Five of Cups and the Three of Swords in the mix. So is this person daydreaming about you guys? This is an important question. The King of Wands can describe a proactive energy. The King is a go-getter. He can go after goals uh, that he wants to manifest into reality, but he is still sitting on the throne. So this person is hesitating somehow, some way. And the more they do that, the higher the chances that, you know, some of you can decide to look in a different direction. Because right now, we are truly experiencing a breakup, a separation, a silent treatment. So, guys, let's see the Ten of Wands. I am curious about it. For me, it's the last mile. So, let's say that this person is kind of aware of the fact that it can be extremely difficult to bring this connection back to life. Three of Cups. Now, memories, good times, and maybe the two of you share the good times along the connection, but then we know the drill about the Three of Cups, potential love triangle, and we can say that this can be why your person is regretful. So if they kind of made you guys play the role of the fool because they pursued a side connection, it can be extremely difficult for them to convince you that the connection is the dream and they never wanted to say goodbye, they never wanted to hurt you. Well, they did. They did. Two of Pentacles. Still juggling. Can't let go. Look, guys, the devil. Can't let go. Obsession. I am amazed by the energies. On point, guys, what can I say to you? There can be two things. This person can be obsessed with you. And then they can have a pattern that basically brings them every time to look for side connections, so for troubles, kind of putting in jeopardy an established situation with a romantic partner. This is a red flag, guys. So major alchemy, we have talked about it between the two of you when it comes to sex, but this person, this person lacks balance, guys, and so they do not want to let go of the connection with you because it can serve them well to fulfill their pleasures, physical pleasures mainly. So the sun, because of the devil, can become an energy about the self, so pride, almost ego, guys. So will they reach out? Will they take action? Queen of Cups, Strength card, Seven of Wands, Seven of Pentacles. Guys, they can reach out because of the Queen of Cups energy. I want to investigate it because the Queen can express love in a genuine way. And she is also able to figure out if the intentions of another person can be genuine and sincere enough to grant success in favor of, let's say, a romantic connection. So this person can have the talent to understand if you still feel something for them. At the same time, you will have to mirror this talent because you will have to basically see through an act when it comes to how this person can reach out to you. Then, strength card, energy about trust. They want to rebuild a vow of trust between the two of you. Is it possible? This is a big question, guys. They do not want to let go, seven ones. There can be stubbornness at play, guys. So be careful with the girl with a snake oracle card. Seven of pentacles. The situation is still put on the back burner somehow, some way, this person can even be 
aware of the fact that you are not going to jump right away in a connection with them without the ability to realize and figure out if they can be different. And this is a wise move uh, coming from you guys if you resonate with it. Let's see the Queen of Cups, guys. It can be an apology uh, in a situation like this one because they would love to overcome the challenge following this trend card. But this person can be a beast, allow me to say, metaphorically speaking, of course. They cannot be tamed. So you have to be careful even in this evaluation. It can be difficult for you to tame the lion in a scenario like this one. Even if you can embrace perfectly well the role of the beautiful lady in this trend card. So let's see, Queen of Cups. Let's see what we can get about this apology. Queen of Wands, perfect match for the king. Guys, the apology can be aimed at the opportunity to reignite a flame. Star energy, wish granted. All right. This is understandable from your person's perspective. Uh, what I am thinking about, to be honest with you, is the consideration that we can make about the naked lady. They want to be naked with you once again. They are fixated with that. They are obsessed with that idea. Do you feel the same? Nine of Cups, another wish granted energy. Guys, but there can be arrogance coming from the man with the red hat. So no arrogance coming from the star. Of course, we can say that. But this person can think to be the real deal. They can even think that they are perfect for you. Um, you should be the one that can say such thing, um, not them. And so do you think that they are the one for you? Considering what happened between the two of you? This is going to be a major crossroads, guys, because uh, this person can say that they still want the connection. They can find a way to express in a clear way the fact that they still feel something for you. I am curious about where these feelings are coming from because are they coming from their heart or are they coming from their second brain? Because chances are their second brain is a catalyst when it comes to the thought process of this person. They can even try to charm you guys. We got the keyword being charmed or used. And so even the concept about being used can be unpleasant. Guys, time factor. There can be still a standby at play, but this person is going to reach out and they will try to almost sweep you guys off your feet when it comes to the opportunity to rekindle a flame of passion between the two of you. But to you, I would say, take a step back in the overall evaluation of the connection because there can be high risks to get hurt because there can be a pattern that may not be in favor of a successful development, you know? Guys, I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful somehow, some way. If you want to comment, like, and subscribe, it will help our channel to grow. So thank you. And until next time, I wish you all the best. Take very good care of you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.